Hello. Uh, what would you say to feminists, specifically those I think you would consider biological women who are in support of trans women being able to access historically women's spaces like uh, female bathrooms and uh, being able to participate in women's sports? Okay, what would I say? Um, let me ask, are, are you one of those feminists? I am. Oh, okay. Lucky guess. Um, so, yeah, uh, what is a woman? Uh, somebody who identifies as a woman. So can I become a woman? Do you have gender dysphoria? Thankfully, no. <laughs> then, then no. Oh, but, so only if you have gender dysphoria, you can identify as a woman? It's a medical condition. It's a medical yes. condition. So anyone at any time can become a woman? Uh, no. Because well, anyone could have gender dysphoria. It's, it's, you claim it upon yourself. I, I, you know what, I, I am, I'm actually thinking I might, I might actually have gender dysphoria. So can I become a well, woman? Well, I wish you the best in your transition, and I hope that society accepts you. So let me ask you a question. Um, what is cheating? What is cheating? Mm -hmm. I can pull up a dictionary definition. No, like give an example. Maybe taking something from somebody or a strong person, you know, maybe using their power against the weak. Sure. Somebody okay. using their power against the weak. Got it. Okay. Is Leah Thomas or William Thomas biologically stronger than the competitors that he, she was against? I don't, I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't know about sp that specific situation. Probably okay. because she is number one. Won the national title. Yes. Okay. Won, well, won after, the national title. after the transition, right? Okay. Is that fair? Yes. So the other women against the man were born with less bone density, lower testosterone levels, what are they supposed to do to make it even? I would not know on that specific situation. Right, so there's nothing they can do because men have more testosterone, muscle mass, and bone density. So wouldn't that be cheating? Hmm. I feel like I'm being pulled into a trap, and I'm going to step away. Well, no, it's not a trap. No, it's not. I mean, just one sec. I, I, it's a very simple moral question, right? So if someone is stronger and was born that way, is able to compete against people that are not as strong because they're born that way, wouldn't that be the textbook definition of cheating? I don't know about that one. I'm going to step away. Okay. Thank you. Can I ask you one more question, though? Yes. Okay. So, so you're a feminist, and you, you say anyone who has gender dysphoria can transition to become a woman at any time. That, that's, that's your position? Sure. Okay. Do you think chromosomes have anything to do with determining what a female is? Yes. Okay. So then where does the gender dysphoria come into place? I think that sex and gender are different things. Right. But then what is a woman? Somebody who identifies as a woman. So anyone can be a woman at any single time. You've asked me this question, it's still no. Got it. And you're a feminist? I am. So who are you trying to protect? Still true. What was that? Who are, what women are you trying to protect? Women. All women. That you Rega can't, regardless that you can't of, define. Regardless of uh, whether or not they've transitioned. Whether or not they've transitioned. Yes. Well, um, I wish you well in the coming situation where now as a feminist you're going to have to live under the tyranny of men who think they're women. Thank you for being here tonight.